Hey, what's up? You're Ron here and today I'm going to teach you the secret for truly vibrant watercolors. This is something a lot of people face this problem of painting and getting the paints to be way too light, way too dull and not strong enough, not punchy enough. And the answer is within the question. The colors are too light and too dull. So let me show you first an exercise. So this is an exercise I believe that if you do enough of, you will feel huge improvement in the way your colors look. And here's what it entails. What I want you to do is grab a bunch of paint here from the palette, whatever color you like, and look at this. I want you to mix enough of it so that it actually shows. Here's what I don't want you to do. I don't want you to mix this kind of a thing or that kind of a thing. You see, I want the color to show. This is what you have to put an emphasis on. It's very wet still, it moves on the palette, but it shows. What I want you to do is just fill in a bunch of shapes with a bunch of colors and try and push these to really show on the palette. I'm gonna switch to this beautiful orange next to it and look at how much the color shows. I'm gonna connect it to what I already have here. And I want you to go with another color. And don't take your time with it. Just grab a bit of every color, make sure it shows on the palette. You wanna see it and then apply it to the paper, okay? What you wanna remember is that watercolor dries much lighter and duller than it actually is. And the mistake most people make is they simply don't use enough paint and they use too much water. Uh, in my research, uh, about this and trying to figure out how to make my colors look much, much better, uh, which is still work in progress. I have a long way to go. What I realized is that this is a big part of the equation, getting the right uh, value and the right kind of darkness. And I will mention a few additional tips uh, for how to get this to work. But for now, I want you to do this kind of an exercise. And let me switch over to handheld mode uh, and show you this up close. Let's take more of this beautiful phthalo blue here hopefully the camera isn't too shaky and you see it still flows it still moves on paper but i want it to really show not only on the palette but also on paper i really want the color to show let's grab a bit of this magenta i'm not even going to the palette i'm just putting it on paper like this okay sorry can't hold my camera <laughs> but in any case look at this if i go like this with a very light color you won't see this beautiful violet. It'll dry much lighter. I want you to be able to see the violet. Look at this. Look how beautiful of a color that is. I'm gonna address some other concerns you may have uh, in just a few moments, but for now I just want you to see the way I do this. Let's do a nice combination of yellow and magenta because these two look really good uh, together. They kind of neutralize each other in a fun way. See? And if you can get these and do these quickly on paper before the edge dries so that you actually uh, get a, f a smooth, uh, flowy transition. This is what you're after here. Uh, let's get a bit of the lemon yellow here for the corner. Uh, that's what you're after here. You're after a smooth transition, okay? You wanna go quickly, get the color you need, put it on paper. I know this may feel almost opaque to some people because you're so used to painting with watered down paints so no, you wanna drop that um, and really, really put it out there. Put the paint to show, okay? Put it to show. So I hope the exercise is clear. Do this, fill in a bunch of shapes, work fast, try for it to really, really uh, show the color on paper and to really get in, sorry, that's my finger, to really get an even uh, transition between them like you see here. And now let's talk a bit about some pointers. So this is the kind of thing you should end up with, vibrant, beautiful colors and abstract shapes, nothing realistic here. Now we do wanna talk about some pointers. What about working in thin glazes, meaning instead of just putting the paint immediately, you slowly build it up with thin, watery, almost tea consistency glazes. Well, I have done some reading on hand print and I discovered based on they what they say there uh, with proof that it is not superior to working in single layers, meaning if you paint in glazes, multiple glazes, it is not gonna lead to a better result than putting the paint you want in the value you want immediately. It may actually look better if you do it more directly. So that's an important pointer. Now, what about value? Because what we're talking about here is actually a darker value. All of these 
to get them to look vibrant, we used more paint, meaning darker value. So how does that reconcile with actually getting the accurate value in your painting? Well, you have some wiggle room. You don't have to do this for every single color you use in your painting. In fact, a lot of the sense of luminosity and beauty in the painting comes from having one strong dominant color like this, and then some supporting colors that are maybe a little duller, a little lighter. So think strategically. What color will you emphasize and what color will you perhaps exaggerate or push to be as strong as this? The, the whole idea is in the context of a full painting, does it have a good sense of light and shadow, a good sense of luminosity? And one last point to remember, the color is gonna dry much lighter, so always have that in mind. This will and is still drying and it's gonna be lighter once it's fully dried, so you have to account for that and go a little stronger in the beginning. I hope that makes sense. This is everything I have for you today. Don't forget to check out the links in the description box below for my uh, frustration-free watercolor course, for the completely free how to simplify course in watercolor. I hope to see you there and in a future video. If you're still unsubscribed, be sure to subscribe. I have many more cool vids planned for you. So I will see you again real soon.